Now to the pandemic, a record-setting day as COVID-19 cases keep rising. The U.S. topping 90,000 cases in a day for the first time. That dubious mark was reached just after the U.S. Have recorded its 9 millionth case overall. COVID-19 cases are steadily rising in Arizona as well. More than 1,500 new cases were reported just today, and that is the fourth day in a row with more than 1,000 cases. 16 new deaths were reported. That brings the total to almost 6,000. COVID-related emergency room visits and hospitalizations are also on the rise. And with COVID cases on the rise in Arizona, some worry that large events like high school sporting events may make the problem even worse. A number of schools are battling COVID cases, with some even deciding to go back to online learning. But for the most part, sporting events are still happening. Team 12's Nayala Charles is live at Liberty High School in Peoria, where the Lions are set to take on Chaparral. Well, the game is set to start here in an hour with people expected to be in the stands along with the dozens of players out there on the field. And all those cases are rising across the state. Parents I spoke to say the experience on this field and others are valuable for kids and they don't want to see it taken away. The Friday night lights are still lit up on high school football fields across Arizona. And as touchdowns are being made on the field, coronavirus cases are on the rise in our schools. Maricopa County Public Health says so far, 40 schools across the valley have COVID outbreaks. 35 of them are still open for in-person learning. Overall, more than 180 students and staff have tested positive. Carol Baker watches her grandson play football for Ironwood High every week. They live together. She says because she's at high risk for COVID, having him go back to the field wasn't a decision she took lightly. I do worry about it to some degree, but I just have to have a little bit of faith, I guess. But she has confidence in the measures the school has taken to protect the players, requiring masks, reporting any COVID symptoms, and limiting the crowds at games. If I thought for one moment that they weren't making a good effort to follow the guidelines, I, I would pull him out. The Arizona Interscholastic Association requires schools to follow a list of guidelines if engaging in sports. That includes not sharing equipment, social distancing when possible, and reporting any COVID cases so games can be canceled if necessary. If uh, teams are playing uh, other teams that are in an area that numbers have really, really, really risen, and get really above the substantial grade, those contests can be postponed or canceled. According to the AIA, out of the 275 schools, 55 have canceled the fall sports season. Baker admits there is no perfect way to absolve all COVID risk, but says they are doing the best they can. I don't think I can keep him locked up. Not all schools are limiting crowd sizes, though. Across the season, we've seen some stands packed with people. Back here, it's still too early to tell. As you can see, not everyone has made their way in it in yet because the game doesn't start for an hour. But of course, we'll be sure to keep you and your family updated on how many COVID-19 cases are coming in across the school district. And also, we'll keep you updated on how Arizona leaders are handling the pandemic, both on air and online. For now, we're live in Peoria. Nayella Charles, 12 News.